Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be discussing the easiest way and showing you how to clean your toilet the easiest way. Obviously, some people have hard water like we see here. No, this is not poop. This is literally a water ring around. Not to mention it does get filthy as well. Let's go ahead and get on in there so we can show you the results. Again, the water falls and just for your curiosity's sake, same thing happens in the jacuzzi tub as well. Hard water minerals, just overall nastiness. So we want to clean this and we want to disinfect it as well. I'll be showing you two different things. The first one is gonna be for the toilet inside the toilet bowl cleaner. And then we're gonna to get to a more of a natural, non-toxic for where we sit. First, this is the easiest thing to do. I will try to have this linked in the description box right below the video. This has a little pour spout. All you do is unscrew that and you're literally going to put it around the ring of the toilet. It's gonna drip down to the bowl. We're gonna give it about five minutes, disinfect, and then we're gonna scrub it with an Ikea little brush. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. Okay, so all you're gonna do here is you're gonna get that spout right underneath the edge here, and then just go ahead and squeeze, and it's gonna come down, and it's a little bit tricky with one hand but you guys will get the idea. And you will have like little gaps as you can see there in it, but it's gonna flow down and those gaps don't really matter. I mean, if you really want to, maybe put a little bit more right over, did I do that? Okay, right over there, there we go. So it's gonna drip down. Anyway, we're gonna give that about five minutes um, to go ahead and just soak down and it's gonna go ahead and just spread its little wings all the way down to the water there. Be back with you in about five minutes. And that's gonna be the easiest way to scrub off those hard water marks. Or if you got any poop in there as well, that's just nasty. But anyway, this also works for your sink as well here. And as we can see, it kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria, especially what our country and our world is going through right now. You definitely want to do that. So this go ahead and cleans that nastiness around the edge right there. We'll let that sit for five minutes as well. And what I typically do is you can use a different brush, obviously, if you don't want that. But I mean, we're not dropping our toothpaste in there and picking it back up. So what we'll do here, because the brush is clean, we've washed that before we put that back in there. Remember, you need to do that as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and scrub this first. And then we're gonna go ahead and scrub this, and then we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off again. And this would probably definitely work on your little areas of your jacuzzi tub as well. But remember that this stuff does have some bleach in it as well. Not much, there's the active ingredients right there. So obviously if I dripped it on my sock, it would turn my black sock uh, a little bit off white. Anyway. Be back with you in a few. All right, back with you folks here. Let's go ahead and grab our little scrub brush here. So we're gonna come over to our sink first, like I mentioned, and we're gonna go ahead and, and just give that a nice little roll around. As you can see, all that nasty hard water stuff is coming off as well. Not to mention disinfecting it as well, getting all that nastiness. And then what I do is just come up the, you know, to the edge here. Uh, and go around here. And we're looking good. You don't have to spend too long if you want to get that little hole there as well. Just disinfecting your sink. And then we'll go ahead and rinse that back out in just a second here. Now let's show you the toilet because that's what you guys came to the video for. All right, so as you can see there, nasty water line. And just let me show you just the difference in just a few little scrubs there. Boom, gone right over there. See that one in the back? And let's just give it a couple little scrapes here and that is gone. And obviously the more you scrape, so if it's really bad, just go ahead and scrape a little bit. But let me go ahead and just do this a little bit more. And I like to get up in there, so like, see how my bristle, my bristles, my bristles are nice and high up there. And so you're cleaning where the water comes down, getting all that area right here, getting down in there as well all the way through there. And then looking really fantastic there. Look at how much better that is. Look at how much better that is. Now, if it's really bad right here, you can slightly, slightly see that. I don't know if you can even pick that up. I can pick that up a little bit on camera, but barely. Um, then do it again. Do it again, get back in there. 
and uh, give it a second round with that uh, area in the back if it's really, really bad. But look at how much better that is than it was literally just a few with barely any elbow grease involved there. Okay, so next thing you wanna do, I don't wanna make this video too long. Whoop, we're gonna get to that, don't worry. <laughs> so next thing I do is I wanna go more of a natural route. So I like simple green. You guys can use your Lysol with bleach, you guys can do whatever, but I don't really want to put my butt on something toxic because that's actually very sensitive skin. So this simple green is non-toxic biodegradable. And so what I do, you can just spray it on here. And then what I'll do is I'll use like a napkin. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it around. I don't, again, I don't wanna make this video too long. And then I will do the same thing around here. And I'm gonna go ahead and then lower this. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the actual area up here. Sorry, I'm running a little low on simple green. And that's obviously where your butt sits. And then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the top of it around the bottom there, even on the top, etc. And that is a non-toxic way to clean the top. And then obviously a really beautiful way to get rid of the bacteria with some bleach in the toilet bowl. Okay, and then when you're ready to go, go ahead and flush it by two flushes that all that blue uh, will be gone. But again, I'm just gonna use uh, like a 99 cent store napkin that is easily flushable, wipe it around. So just do that. We're gonna go around the bowl, etc. doing all that. I'm gonna go ahead and spit shine it a little bit more off camera, save you guys the time. And again, just kind of wash that with good water. And then you could use simple green in there as well. Again, if you want, if you're really worried about bacteria or anything like that, but, and that's looking absolutely fantastic now too. We'll go ahead and rinse that. We'll go ahead and put a little Lysol all over that bad boy before we do stick it back in there. Look at that, after one flush, looking fantastic. We'll go ahead and flush it again. And there we go, that napkin got sucked in there real nice. Look at that. Look at that clean bowl. Thanks guys so much for watching the video. Hit that thumbs up button if you've appreciated a clean toilet and how to clean your toilet the easiest way. Subscribe on the way out guys and look for those links in the description box below if you just want to pick it up and have it shipped to you. Take care. Bye bye. Don't let the party stop guys. Hit one of these videos. Continue to watch. We'll see you soon.